Hey, what's up guys? This is IF and this is IF finally creating the most updated version of Unjail Breaking Your iDevice. Now this will work for iOS 7 and I'll have a list of all the devices and the firmwares uh, this uh, method will work with so make sure you check out the description. But in this video I'm gonna use it on my iPod Touch 4 generation and uh, this is on iOS 6.1.5. Don't worry it will work for iOS 7 and as I said check out the description for more information so let's uh, not just waste any more time and let's directly get on to the process of unjail breaking your so the first step is that you need to send your device into DFU mode so I have already done that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna connect this device directly onto with iTunes and iTunes will detect this message now I will show you on how to get your device into DFU mode after reading this message and that is iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode you must restore the iPod before it can be used now uh, this is the message that we are looking for and so to send your device into DFU mode what you need to do is first of all you need to connect your device with iTunes to your computer then you need to turn off the device and then keep holding the home button and the power button together for 10 seconds that is 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then release the power button and keep holding the home button until iTunes gives this message to you all right so once iTunes gives this message to you just click on ok and then Oh, oops so I done it two times so it's giving me the message a couple of times so now just click on restore iPod or whatever I device that you are using it will say it will restore and update so now oops sorry I just forgot to mention that make sure you back up your device now after doing this method it will erase everything to your device so make sure you back up your device if you want anything like your contacts your pictures your games each and every data will be erased from your I device so make sure you back Back up that and if you want to see how to back up your iDevice I will be showing it in the last part of the video you can do it in two ways that is with iTunes or with iCloud so now it has contacted the software update and just you need to click on next agree and boom it will start downloading this firmware so now I have already downloaded this so I'm just gonna cancel this and uh, now what you need to do is you need to click on shift plus restore iPod or control shift plus restore iPod pod on your Windows computer and control plus restore iPod on your Mac device and once you do that you need to go to the directory where you have saved your iOS downloaded firmware so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on restore iPod firmware and I'm gonna go to my downloads folder and here it is so just click on open and uh, click on restore and boom you are probably done All right, finally our device is ready. Now the last step is just to configure it, but I'm not gonna do it right now, and I'm gonna not bore you through this process. So a couple of things to keep in mind while doing this process. The first thing it is that it does not matter on what iOS firmware you are. It will update your device to the latest firmware that is available. Now for in my particular case, it updated my device to iOS 6.1.5. Now if your device supports any older firmware, it will update it so make sure that you are aware of that and uh, one thing that I already said was to back up your device so I'm just gonna set it up and I'll be right back alright so I've done setting it up I've connected it to my Wi-Fi <clears throat> and all is ready to go so now this is as clean as possible and now the last step is how to back up your device and how to restore it from a backup okay, I'll just place it in here and this is the process that I need to do so I'll just click on continue here and uh, alright uh, I just don't need all this 
okay getting started all right so here it is and i have already set it to back up this device to my computer i'll zoom in so you guys can check this out so as you can see in here in the itunes uh, i don't remember the version it's itunes 11 and uh, here in the backup section there is this icloud and this computer so before restoring your device make sure to click on this computer and uh, click on a backup now so all your data will be backed up so don't worry all your pictures your games uh, I'm not sure about the data in those games but yeah your device will be backed up and once you have done that uh, after restoring your iPod or after you have cleaned it up what you just need to do is click on restore backup and it will show you that what you want to restore it from click on OK and you can get all your data back so this was just backing up and restoring a device but as you can see in here the device is as clean as possible and it is perfectly in running condition so that's it guys thank you for watching this video and if you like this video definitely be sure to hit the like button down below and if you want to see more of these videos definitely be sure to hit the subscribe button below thanks guys for watching this video again and see you next time namaste